Hello and welcome to volume 12 of the Massey Ferguson Archive Series. In this edition, we're going to focus on their harvesting machinery, as well as the classic 100 series tractors that, for many people, typify the late 1960s and early 70s. To set the scene, our first film looks at farming in general and the very serious job of producing food. With a look at 100 series tractors being built at Banalane in Coventry, it demonstrates that in the 1960s, the British farmer was much more than just a producer. He was the cornerstone of this country's economy. So the wheels go on turning and the harvests are gathered. This ultimately is what the partnership of the farmer and the agricultural machinery industry is all about. And it's a partnership that has proved its worth. The farmer, with the aid of mechanization, now supplies us with 250 million pounds worth more of food every year than he did even 10 years ago. His exports total a further 78 million pounds, increasing annually. All this is vital foreign exchange saved or earned. Upon the farmer rests the prosperity of some of our key industries. He is the cornerstone of our economy. That he should receive a fair return for his efforts is not only justice, it is essential to the well-being of our society. Ahead of us lies a future of more mouths to feed, less land to farm, fewer men to farm it. It will not be the first challenge the farmer has known how to answer. Our next film explores the benefits of Massey Ferguson's pressure control. Pressure control works through a unique hitch developed by Massey Ferguson to transfer weight from the front end of the tractor and from big pull-type implements at the flick of a lever to the tractor's rear wheels to give traction, weight transfer traction, with big pull-type implements. Pressure control is the greatest single advance in tractor design in over 30 years for it gives weight transfer traction with big pull-type implements. Pressure control also reduces rolling resistance on the tractor front end. You don't bulldoze through the field, and there's more horsepower available for use on the rear wheel. Pressure control operates through this unique hitch developed by Massey Ferguson, and it can be adapted to other implements now owned. 